Yeah. So we actually uh, prepared the, the other places you'll see on the tour. This is kind of a this is a small a smaller operation here. Please. It's good to see you. How you doing? Good. Hi there. Hello. Good idea. So it's a two by six, uh, two foot by six foot, uh, evaporated, yes. oil fired. So there's a little oil burner in here, kind of similar to what you'd have in first. Uh, which is convenient for us because we both have regular jobs, you know, uh, day jobs. So I had a for as opposed to you'll see the wood fire evaporators. I mean, you got to get the thing going, and then when you're done, it takes a long time to shut it down and everything else. With this, so we flip a switch. We're up and boiling in about five minutes, and then when we're out of sap, we turn the switch off, and then it shuts down. And I mean, I think that's pretty good. Good. <laughs> the raw sap comes there. in this yeah. you know, plastic too. Uh, I'm not going to get this. This is, this is called a steam oil. It's called a box here. And, and uh, so there's a pan, a lot like this, even actually, if you look through the little sight glass there. Okay, yeah. No, that, that's the, uh, I call it the sap pan or the back pan. Uh, and it's a, uh, it's a drop fluid. Uh, but uh, the raw sap will come into here, and this box this just basically sits on yeah, you know, this back pan, <laughs> and so the steam that comes off of that heats up in here. And with the steam oil, uh, if you look in here, you see there's some copper tubes there. There's perforated uh, air lines underneath there, and we have a blower outside. So as the raw sap comes into here, we'll flip on that blower, and it, there's, uh, it'll agitate the sap. So we'll get it up to about 190 degrees before it ever hits the pan where the actual evaporation starts to occur. Um, so that increases our efficiency by probably, I think somewhere like 30 to 40 percent when you just put this in here. And then, uh, and so then it evaporates in that back pan at the right. The, uh, depending on what side we draw off, uh, like if we're drawing on that side, we'll pull the plug here so the, the sap will flow in through here. And as it concentrates the sugar, it flows through those partitions and pushes the heaviest over to that side and then we'll draw off when we're, you know, at the proper density. So like one night, you know, we'll draw on that side, the next night we'll draw on this side. Would you forgive me, tell me last name. It's Welder. Welder. Yeah. Mr. Welder, could you please, we just, I know you can't, you're not boiling today yet. Right. But could you explain the process to the kids and oh, yeah, they're sure. going to be quiz that are all going to pay attention to <laughs> Well, I guess it all starts with the maple trees. Uh, we, uh, we, we drill uh, a hole in the tree, and we put what's called a, uh, a tap or a spile into the tree. We just tap it in with a hammer, and then we hang a bucket on it. And uh, when it warms up during the day, uh, this time of year, uh, and the sap goes from the roots up into the tree, as it passes by that spile, the sap will drip into the bucket. So when the buckets, you know, start to fill up, we'll uh, go out with our tractor, and uh, we have a gathering tank, and I can show that to you when we go up the hill here. But we'll go through the woods, and we'll go to each tree, and we'll empty the buckets into five-gallon pails, and then we walk those over to the tractor, and we dump those in the into the gathering tank, and then uh, we'll uh, fill up our holding tanks, which I'll show you up the hill over here. And we got a big 600-gallon tank up there. And sometimes when the trees are running really good, that tank will be full right to the very top. And so the sap, when it comes out of the tree, looks like water. It's clear. And um, we'll feed it into the evaporator. And what the evaporator does is there's a, there's, a, there's a fire underneath here. So it heats it up and it starts to boil the sap. And as the sap boils, uh, steam comes off of it and it concentrates the sugar that's in the sap. And so when the sap uh, gets to about nine degrees above the boiling point of water, does anybody know what the boiling point of water is? What temperature? Ooh, she knows this. Yeah. Is it more or less than 200 degrees? What's the boiling temperature of water? Oh, guys. You're making us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's 212. It's the boiling point of water. So when we make syrup, uh, we need it to be 219 degrees. And uh, when we get it up to 219 degrees, we can open up the valve for the evaporator, 
and uh, we, we, we pull the syrup off into a bucket like this, and then uh, we filter it and put it in bottles so you can put it on your pancakes. Did you guys have pancakes next door? Yeah. How were they? Good. Yeah? All right. Best syrup we ever had. Hey, there you go. <laughs> If you guys want, I can show you the the, uh, the holy tanks up the hill here. You guys went right by them. I'll show you the tractors too. Okay. You go up there. Did you guys take a look in these buckets? Like the professionals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <coughs> See, so here's the hole. All right, we drill a hole, and this is the this is the tap or the spile. Okay, it's frozen right now, but it's gonna warm up here pretty soon when it gets. A, you guys know uh, when it gets above 32 degrees, these will start to just drip. Uh, sap out of the tree yeah. and into the bucket. Yeah, there's a little bit in there from yesterday, but not, not okay. enough. So we want that to fill up. And we put the lids on here so that when it rains, we don't get any water in the buckets, just the sap. And these are the buckets we use when we go to, to gather the sap. Just a regular old plastic bucket. But we'll go from tree to tree. And this is our this is another tank. We'll uh, we'll dump the sap into the tank, and that that'll hold about 180 gallons of sap. Okay, you see in there? There you go. Take a look in there. See? And so once we fill this up, we will pump it into this big tank over here. This is a 600 gallon tank. Wow. And we've had this tank filled right up into the top. We don't always fill up to the top. Sometimes we only get halfway or partway up. But once we uh, once we get the sap in here, we got another machine that we use to filter the sap. It's called a reverse osmosis, and uh, it'll pump through this machine over here, and it actually takes out some of the water, so that we start with a more concentrated uh, sap when we start to boil. Got it? Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. And then from there, it goes right into the evaporator and we boil it down. So out of 600 gallons of sap, how much syrup do you get out of that? Well, it, uh, we usually go about 40 or 50 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. So for a, uh, a 600 gallon day, we'll make uh, 12 gallons of maple syrup. My math is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a 12 right. to 15 gallon, yep. somewhere in there. How many, and I might have missed this, did you say, how many? We have 600 buckets out this year. And uh, there's a Amish fella down the street who's got another 300 uh, that, he, that he taps and hauls up here for us. So uh, 900 total this year.